hey guys what's up so in this video we will have a look at instance eval method so instance eval method in Ruby is called on objects so in Ruby since everything is an object so you can call instance eval method on any object or anything in Ruby now instance eval method as an argument it's it takes a code block and what do you do inside the code block generally whenever we call it uh, we give the code block as an argument to instance eval method so what we do is that we define some methods inside that code block okay so when we define some methods those methods they become directly available to the calling object of the instance eval method okay and so after the execution of this instance eval method you will be able to call those methods on those uh, on that calling object so let us have a look at uh, this method in action and then you will have a better understanding about how to use instance eval method so we are going to define a file create a file instance eval dot rb okay and inside this file let us create a class this class doesn't have a method body so it's like kind of a blank class hello now hello is an object because it's ruby so everything is an object and this is an object of class type okay so i'm going to call it as class object so hello is a class object and since this is an object i can call instance eval method on this object and as an argument it will take a code block so it is like do and end okay so inside this code block i'm going to define a method say hi and inside this method I'm going to print hi okay so what will happen so here I defined a class hello and on that class object hello I'm calling instance eval method and I'm giving it as an argument a code block and inside that code block I'm defining a method say hi so as per the definition and behavior of instance eval method whatever methods that we define inside the code block in our case it is say hi the methods defined inside the code block they will be available to the calling object of instance eval method so here the calling object of instance eval method is this hello class object so this method say hi will become available to the hello class object so afterwards we should be able to call say hi method directly on this hello class object okay so in a way you can say that say hi method becomes a class method for this hello class okay so you will not be able to call this say hi method on the instances of hello class or on any other thing it will be uniquely attached to this object only the calling object and it will not be available to anybody else so let us run this file and see this thing in action yeah so here we are able to print hi because we called say hi method on hello class object and this say hi method was attached to this hello class object through this instance eval class instance eval method execution so let us revisit our file so as we have said that since instance eval method inside this instance eval method call I define this method say hi and this say hi method will be available to the calling object hello so if I define another object like p which is actually an instance of hello class so we will not be able to call say hi method on this object p because say hi method it is attached to the calling object of instance eval which is hello so say hi method will be called upon only hello but what I'm going to do here is that I'm going to call instance eval on this p object because p is also an object so it can also call instance eval and it will also take a code block as its argument and inside the argument I'm going to define say hi method again and what it will do it will print hello just to distinguish this say hi method from the previous one and and so what 
what is happening here here p is another object which is an instance of hello class and on this object p i'm calling instance eval method and inside the code block argument i'm defining method say hi so what will happen this say hi method will be available to the calling object of instance eval method so here the calling object of instance eval method is this p object so this method say hi will be attached to this object p it will not be available to other instances of hello class it will be uniquely attached to this object because it is this object which is calling instance eval okay so now i can say this p say hi so here i was calling say hi on hello because this copy of say hi method was available to this object because here this object was calling instance eval and defining this method here this object p is actually calling instance eval method defining this object so here this say hi method will execute this part of the code here this say hi method will execute this part of the code uh, this part of the mm, statement so let us run this file yeah so here you can see that first i was i was printing hi because this hi is because of this say hi method call which was being called on hello and the second one is hello this is because of this say hi method call which was being called upon this object p so we can say that instance eval method is something that you can call on any object and whatever methods you define inside the code block argument of instance eval method will be available to the calling object and it will be available to the calling object only it will not be available to its siblings its parents or its children or its instances it will be only available to the calling object only so i think i was able to clear like how to use instance eval method in ruby and if you have liked the video just give me a thumbs up and do subscribe the channel so that you can see the future videos of uh, related to coding ruby on rails and other stuffs so that was all thank you bye bye see you